Hi, I'm Joe Locke, and I'm going to be talking through my lookbook with the British Esquire. Yeah, I mean, this costume is our Daniel, our costume designer, is such a genius, and there's so much detail, like on the, like, all the little parts of the jumper, and without when the jacket's off, there's even more stuff. And I always say the teen's costume holds all of like the secrets of teen in the show, um, if you look close enough. And always, in every costume I wear in the show, I have my spell book on my, on my thigh which was actually really annoying because it was leather, so it, was, it would sometimes rub. But I, I, I love this costume. It was like my, one well, I wore most days and I got this ring from it, which I stole from set and I've never taken it off since. This, um, I have the most amazing stylist, Holly White, and she is in charge of everything I wear because she has a very, she's just amazing. And I would not, I'd be wearing jeans and a t-shirt all the time if it wasn't for her. And not nice jeans and a t-shirt like this one, but this was um, Celine. I love this cardigan. It was, it was, I love a cardigan. I'm such a winter weather wearer. Like most of my clothes are like jumpers and cardigans. And so to get to wear a very expensive cardigan was very nice and very fun. Um, and this sparkly t -shirt, like, shirt it came with was actually really itchy. So anytime there was no cameras around, I was just itching all day. But fashion sometimes can be itchy. My classic outfit, if I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, will be a nice pair of black trousers, a white tee, and like an overshirt. And the, I had my Drink Your Milk, Jonathan Bailey, Loewe, um, Shameless Fund t-shirt on. Um, which I think is just a great t-shirt. Bit provocative, bit fun, and just, it's Loewe, so it's great. And then a nice little, I think I'm wearing some Marnie trousers in this. I found in a vintage store in New York and they were like $100 and they should have been like, Marnie's are very expensive and would never buy it if it wasn't a steal. But um, like I never, or, or I really struggle finding trousers that fit my, I got told by a doctor once I had very childbearing hips, which as a 13 year old um, teenage boy who's just started puberty, not the thing you want to hear, but because of my childbearing hips, I often struggle to find trousers that fit, but these Marnie ones really did the job. And my classic sambas, which I wear everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I used to, season one, Joe was very interlinked to Charlie's fashion sense. So he wore a lot of the same stuff. I think I've diverged a bit now as I've grown up and maybe Charlie hasn't, but Charlie still, I still have a cardigan, but I'm not sure I necessarily would pick this cardigan for myself, but it works for Charlie. Um, I think also with this, they were trying to emulate a look from the comic. Not really an outfit I'd pick for myself. I wouldn't ever personally wear a blue t-shirt and neon orange shorts, but Charlie would. This was actually our first event we ever went to as a, as a cast. And um, one of my first time work, one of my first times working with Holly, who has now, you know, I go in her studio almost every week at this point to, to find more looks. Yeah. And this was really great about working with the same stylist is that, you know, she gets to know my tastes. and I get to like, we work really collaboratively, which is amazing. And she's so good at her job and all of her team are so good at all of their jobs. But this was a, I don't know what, I forgot what brand it was, but it was, a nice, just a velvet blue suit. And I think I had a little sparkly bow tie on to sort of put a bit of me in there. But I, I love this outfit and um, yeah, it was fun. I was, that was our first like industry event at all, um, which was great fun and very daunting. Whereas now it's like a bit almost old hat in a way, but that was a very fun night. I love wearing a suit. I don't often wear suits as much. I think people didn't really expect suits from me as much anymore, but for the premiere next week in LA, I'm wearing like a nice, pinstripe suit, which I'm excited for. It should be boiling because it's LA, but I'm excited to wear it. This was, I think, again, this was like the second event I ever went to. Um, uh, wearing SS Daily. Um, it was a really cool, and I would think I was scared before I went that I was gonna be wearing like something too fashion. Then I walked in and was like, I oh, know, everyone else is wearing cool things too. Um, so it, it was fun. It was freezing because it was just basically just a sheer shirt. Um, but I loved it. I loved the way that the, um, like, fabric was like in like, I don't know, like these bits coming off it. It was fun, yeah. I love in this suit the um, the like holes in, in all of the like the, um, what do you call it? The bit where the fabric joins. What do you call it? I don't even know. The sides of it. The seams, seams, that's the word. They're like the, like the holes all, all over the seams. And it came with these really cool earrings that I wore. They were not real, I don't have my fist, but they were clip-ons. Um, and I loved it. I just loved the way that it, I, I, I often don't feel very self-confident in, in stuff, but this suit really made me feel, I felt for it less. Oh, I don't look that bad. Um, which is a nice feeling when you're wearing a piece of clothing. But yeah, I, I love McQueen stuff. McQueen is, you know, such a legacy brand and, and 
have such a really distinct, you always look at a McQueen clothing and you know it's McQueen, but there's very different as well. McQueen is cool and it's also very, also again, quite Agatha, you know, dark. For our wrap gifts for when we finished shooting, I bought all the um, Jack and Mary and Catherine and people, um, Alex and McQueen ring of like a skull with flowers around it, which was very Agatha. Fashion week is terrifying, but in a really good way, you know, I still feel quite like an, a bit of an outsider to fashion. I, I love being able to be in that world in a way, but you know, it's 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 a very daunting, daunting to be sat at a fashion show. And this look was so amazing. I loved, I loved the fit of the trousers. I was sat because they're silk. They were silk, so or satin or something. So I couldn't. Every slight movement was creased. So I'd be sat in the car, just like like this, to try and not stretch the. Um, <laughs> Try not crease the fabric, which didn't really work because there were quite a lot of creases in it by the time I got to the show, because Paris traffic is the worst. Um, but you know, this was just after Heartstopper came out, and so it was in that few months of whirlwind where everything was happening. And so, yeah, it was it was great fun, and I, I do all have been so great to me as a brand. They've they've really supported me since since just uh, since Heartstopper, which is really really nice. Ami is a is a brand that I have loved since before I was able to work with them in any capacity, and they've they've always been the most supportive brand to me um, and so to get to go to their show I think I've been three times to three of their shows in a row now which is, is really fun um, it's really great you know Alexander makes such incredible tailors t tailoring and clothing and I, I love the way that his clothes fit people and they really like accentuate people's like body and, and, and this was like no exception to that I I purple for Agatha you know Who, at that point I didn't have any idea maybe I did no, I didn't at that point. I didn't know. This, this show was also on the steps of the Sacre Coeur, which was amazing at, at sunset. Um, but I, lo I love the suit. I love the, um, I think I was scared to wear it because it was, everyone else I saw was wearing like nice normal shirt and suit. And I was like, no, I'm going to wear a bright purple and bright red outfit. Um, yeah. It's also weird. I, I, I would class like, this is not necessarily something I would wear now. But then it was very me and very of the moment. But I think, you know, people's tastes and change a lot. And yeah. This was also in that period of just after Hotstopper came out where everything was happening. I was still doing my A-levels. So I was flying to school and flying to the BAFTAs and flying back to school and going to school, doing my exams. And then doing that, I think I flew on EasyJet like 13 times in one month. <laughs> um, but this suit was um, very Hotstopper and very perfect for that moment. Again, not something I think I'd wear now. I think I've gone, I'm, I'm not in my color era at the moment. I'm very much in my dark era, but I think that's also, you know, Agatha is a very dark show, so. And also if you zoom in real closely, I trapped my thumb in a car door the day before and I had to um, go to A&E and get it glued back together. And then the next day was the BAFTAs. So we thought about, it. Uh, now it's all I can see in this photo is this, the bright red thumb. It took then six months to heal because it grew out. But the nice pink suit was really nice. <laughs> this Wimbledon is the funnest day. I couldn't, I got invited this year by Ralph Lauren, but I couldn't go for, I think we we're doing some press things, but I'm saying now, please Ralph, please invite me next year because it's so much fun because you get to get drunk and watch tennis and wear nice clothes. And this was no exception. I got to wear a very nice double-breasted jacket, which they let me, very kindly let me keep, very nicely tailored to me. So anytime I need to wear a suit jacket now, I just get that out of the cupboard. Um, and there's very cool orange trousers, which, you know, I think Ralph really does really well. The classic fits in like a more contemporary, like pinch on them. I think that was to the show New York Fashion Week um, the other day and it was very cool. I, I love the cuts of the classic, like menswear. I, in like a very cool way. I think it's really, really great. And this was just like that, which is fun. I had an argument with someone about this this week and they're like, you do both buttons. I was like, no, you don't. You do the top one, you don't do the bottom one. For one, because I was right. I loved this green. Very, you know, the leather color as well. I think that was, it was really like, you know, it, it pokes out and was really fun. And Fendi's clothes seemed to just really fit me really well. Sample sizes often don't really fit me, but Fendi sample sizes do, which is really nice. I love a really like some quite simple, but very like well executed tailoring. And I think that's what Fendi does really well. And um, I love being able to wear really expensive clothes that I'll never be able to buy. And this was no exception to that. Thank you for watching and please watch Agatha All Along on Disney Plus on September 19th in the UK, 18th in the US. It's time zones thing. <laughs>